Hey, what's up everybody? Zach is back with another Journey to a Million Dollars today. I've got a couple interesting stocks that we can officially add to the watch list and as well as I wanted to go over what happened in the markets and some notable mentions that we called out. And sure enough, they went up. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. I want to talk about first, overall the markets are pretty mixed today. Uh, S&P 500 is down just a tiny bit. NASDAQ is down 0.3%. Dow Jones is actually up uh, 0.18. And uh, my, no my most notable recent picks, if you guys have been paying attention in the Discord or on Twitter or even on YouTube, you guys will know what we've been calling out. And sure enough, in yesterday's write-up, we on Journey to a Million Dollars, we called out FUTU, F-U-T-U, F-U-T-U. And sure enough, today it ran up actually almost to more than $200 before it pulled back a little bit. And overall, it ended up ended up over 9.2% today. And then the next one we called out uh, was a little bit further back. But still, it's been going up recently, so I wanted to go ahead and mention that. It was FUN, P-H-U-N, and that one is up 12% today, actually. So that's been another one. I see some of my followers are actually have some positions in FUN. Which fun is even more fun with the pH. And then the last one is the GEVO, G-E-V-O. That one I have a decent amount of positions in, uh, running some theta plays on GEVO. And overall it's going pretty well, up 9.6% today. So guys, I hope you're paying attention. Go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the screen right now and put your email address in. So you will get email notifications when a new write-up is available. And also don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button on the YouTube video. It's going to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And go ahead and check out my Twitter. I'm posting real trades there in real time when we are trading. And guys, t if you're watching this video today when I posted it, I'm actually going to be doing a live stream when the opening bell hits. Actually a little bit before opening bell. So we can go ahead and go back over some... Uh, like the wheel strategy, selling calls, selling puts, and uh, just clear up any confusion there because I still see some of my followers in the Discord are a little bit confused on that. So we're going to go ahead and clear that up today. So hopefully tune into the live stream tomorrow morning. All right, and then overall my portfolio is down a little bit today, around $4,000. Nothing too crazy, but it's mostly because Tesla pulled back 5%, which is pretty crazy, but we're still up overall on Tesla for sure. But... um. Yeah, for the last time I bought it actually was around $800, so we're still good, but uh, we're going to be watching that one a little bit closer now and uh, trying to sell some cover calls on the uh, 100 shares of Tesla that we have. But uh, anyways, other than that, positions that, that were filled today uh, was including an iPod, IPOD uh, position. I actually closed out for a loss. I took a loss on $110 for that. It broke my support, so we're going to reevaluate that. And check it out. And remember, guys, I really want to stress that if you are following along with our trades, I have the risk scale of 1 to 5. 1 is the least risky. 5 is the most risky. You should, if it's the 5, the most risky things, you don't put the most money into them. So luckily, for example, this iPod was a risk of a 5. So luckily, I didn't put much money into it. It was only like a $110 loss, actually. So um, pay attention, guys, and do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Don't just listen to me or anybody else. Uh, because after all, it is your money and your life. But anyways, this is just meant to give you a basic idea. And the positions that we closed out also for profit was an SMH. I trimmed it by one contract, GEVO. Actually, I went ahead and closed four for profit. And I'm taking 25 50%, 100% profit on these. Uh, it just depends. Follow my Twitter and you'll know. And then the I, I went into a space, SPCE, the Virgin Galactic. I got into it, uh, sell, sold a put on that, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the premiums were pretty good on that. It was like $1,000 we collected just from that. And uh, hopefully it hits because I want to buy I want to buy cheap shares of space. Um, and then also the GEVO, we took some profit and opened some positions and, and stuff like that. But overall, it's pretty good, guys. And then go ahead and take a look at my positions. And hopefully you've got the write-up pulled up right now because that is what I'm going over on your phone or tablet or computer. So just go ahead and take a look at my positions. But anyways, the first one we want to look at is that we're going to add to the watch list is 
Baidu. So Baidu is the Chinese Google, just in case you guys don't know. Um, there is some rumors circulating around Baidu right now that they're going to start trying to fill the uh, shortage of chips, no matter if it's, I, I mean, the shortage, the global shortage of chips was caused by, well, cryptocurrency mining, uh, because crypto's taken off in the past couple of years. Also, the COVID-19, people are playing more video games, which it's reasonable to, to assume that I'd, you know, bored at home and stuff. But, um, you know, and there's uh, there's other reasons, but mainly because of those things. And that's one of the reasons why semiconductors are just really taken off in 2020 and also so far this year. They're doing all right. But uh, Baidu is, is thinking about setting up a subsidiary to, um, to focus on this. So it can be interesting. And, of course, it's a rumor right now as far as I'm concerned. As far as I know when I'm making this video, it's a, it's a rumor. But... Um, it makes sense, and they absolutely have the resources and capability of doing a very well job at that. Currently, the stock is trading at three, almost 305. It was actually up about 3% yesterday, or sorry, earlier today, but, you know, I think if it can pull back a little bit, which it's, I did a little bit of TA on this, and it seems to be trading in these parallel channels um, since right around December. December 2020. So I think this can be an interesting option. And also, if we zoom out, you know, it's it has gone up a lot over the years. Of course, um, there was a period when it was pretty flat. So guys, be a little bit careful on this one. I don't recommend going so large on this position because I really think there's other things that we can better uh, use our money and resources. But if this one does pull back to around 280, 285, I'm definitely, definitely a buyer. I set a target price of 330. I think that's doable. If it bounces off this support or this support, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna dollar cost average through this buy zone. If it does hit, if it doesn't, then I'm just gonna pass on it. But it's there is some sort of catalyst here for it to start taking off because the semiconductors, if you don't know, they are very hot and have taken off a lot. So I think this can be can be an interesting play. Overall, it's still it's Baidu. It's not going to be so, uh, it's not going to be bad even if the rumor does fall through uh, because it's still Baidu. It, they they're they're like Google in China. So, and then let's go ahead take a look at the next one. Next one is going to be interesting. It's actually let me go ahead and get it pulled up. Ballard Power. This one was brought to my attention by one of my followers yesterday. And it is an interesting play that we could possibly do. This Now, in case you guys don't know, this is a, a Canadian-based proton exchange membrane fuel cell product designer, so in renewable energy. And so any you guys know me and my thoughts on renewable energy and clean energy and um, like solar or, or non-fossil fuel green energy. This is, this is the new tech stocks. Um, so this one is most likely going to run up, and if we check, take a look at the chart, it has been running up, obviously, since the new administration has come in in the States, although this is a Canadian-based one, but still, I guess it applies. Um, so we're going to be watching this one pretty closely now, and there was some news that came out. If you go on Weeble and check out, if you don't have a Weeble, link in the description for four free stocks. One could be Facebook. Um, the Weeble is really nice because everything is just streamlined right here and it's very easy to access all the news and stuff. So if you see the news, it actually they actually had a they uh, uh, bought offer a bought deal offering at thirty seven dollars a share. Yes, uh, earlier, and for three hundred fifty million dollars totally. So I mean, what that is is they actually made a deal where they're selling a lot of shares for three dollars cheaper than what for what it was tra trading for. Um, so this, this, this caused a sell off. So as you can see, there was a sell off. It's down 12% today. So I, I just put the buy zone around this gap, to see if this gap is going to be filled. Um, and if it does, I'm a buyer. I think it could stand to drop another five to 10%. We're going to be watching it very closely now. And if it does hit this buy zone, I think it's going to, going to be a very decent buy. Um, so also you can dollar cost average it. As well, I think mid-term options could be interesting. 
I mean, but anyways, price target 45 entry. Trying to get a less than less than 31. Give it three to six months, mid mid to learn long term options. It can be an interesting play. I mean, all renewable is right now. But uh, anyways, let's move on to the next one. And it's going to be Callaway Golf. So if you guys remember uh, the, the past write-up, like a day or two ago, I wrote about Callaway. I thought it was going to be an interesting buy with the different, um, with like the growth in golf industry that is forecasted. And also they have a stake in Top Golf. So this is overall interesting, and the overall the, the sector is is supposed to grow a decent amount. I mean, we can take a look at this. Basically, looks like a lot of people are putting it up for a forty dollars strong buy buy. I mean, I also think it's it's, it's, it's going to be a good buy. But if you remember from my um, my analysis, my technical analysis, and my buy zone, I had put the buy zone down here, guys. I wanted to get it for less than twenty eight dollars. And I was, I'm just going to wait for it to drop. I mean, hey, if it drops, I'm going to buy it. If it doesn't, then eh, whatever. There's other things There's other things to do. I'm not going to buy a stock when it's at the top because that's called FOMO or fear of missing out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to buy it when it drops. Uh, a lot of people buy at the top. A lot of people sell at the bottom, which is not right. Um, so if we really believe, for example, if we really believe the catalyst here and we really believe in the stock and we really believe that this is going to go up, so we're going to be in this no matter if it goes down or not. So if it goes down, then that means that it's on sale and you should if you really believe it's going to go up, then why would you not get it? So obviously we should think about getting it right now. So nevertheless, here it is. And I'll go down in the aftermarket, it went down 10%. So if we turn on the aftermarket the aftermarket hours, you see that it actually went right in the smack dab middle to 27, smack dab in the middle of my buy zone. So that's really awesome, and uh, I think this is going to be a good buy. Now, keep watching it. I'm going to watch it for a day or two and see if it continues down into the buy zone and uh, eventually stables out because right now it's just in the past. Let's go down to the hour chart. Literally, it was, it was only a couple hours ago that it had dropped off. So, anyways, it is what it is. You guys do your own research, make your own decisions. But uh, just to let you know that we had called that buy zone out uh, only like a day or two ago. And sure enough, it's in our buy zone right now, so pay attention. And I see a lot of guys on the Discord. They are they're actually going back over my watch list and my buy zones and the reports I'm doing because they're, they're trying to stay fresh. Um, because there's a lot of stocks in the world. There's a lot of things that we need to watch. And I mean, there's not enough time in the day, to be honest, to watch a lot. But take a few that you know, write them down, get, make them, put them in your Weeble watch list. And, um, you know, just, you know, just keep track of them. Focus in on and stay up to date on all the news on just a few, and that is going to be enough. So, anyway, so let's move, go ahead and move on. And, of course, uh, one I wanted to talk about is going to be Futu, which is up a decent amount today. So, here we are. And this is the after hours and everything. So, it actually had pulled back. It was up a lot more during the market. Um, it, it literally went up to $204. And if you guys had take, took t took some profits then, which if you had an option contract, you would have been up a lot. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So it pulled back and... But it had run up. So yesterday it was right here. And I was thinking we could buy it in the buy zone a couple days ago. Would have been better, obviously. but And it really f it just gapped up. And it almost gap it gapped up a little bit more. And it ran up all the way to 204. So we had called that one out, but I did not pick up a position on that because I wanted to wait for it to pull back. It's already passed my target, although it's it's consolidating a little bit right now. Uh, but we're, we're still going to watch it. Totally, it was up 9% today. And, you know, sure enough, sure enough, it is up. So that's another one we're calling out, guys. But, you know, hopefully you're subscribed to the blog and subscribe to my watch list. And then you guys are going to stay fresh on these. Um... Just like I am. So, another one I want to take a look at is going to be the ARC, ARC ETFs. So, as you can see, and this is just an ETF index. You can you can make your own different watch lists here, and uh, this is just the the ETF, the watch list I have made. Just some interesting ETFs that I like. But uh, anyways, got my ARC ones are all down. ARC W is down three point uh, three seven. 
Arc K is down 1.1, Arc G is down 1.2, and Arc Q is down 1.3. If you guys don't know what those are, you are not really paying attention. But those are all managed by Kathy Woods, and she is amazing, and they have experienced just enormous growth. So anytime those are down, I would just add a little bit of money to them. Cost average a little bit. Because those are those are doing more than 100% per year. So even if you just hold comments on those, I would recommend that. Or, of course, get some leaps if you want to save some money. But uh, definitely something like that. So, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Remember, I have a live stream going on in the morning. Uh, it's about uh, probably 30 minutes, an hour before opening bell. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. I posted it on my Twitter. On the Twitter was... Yep, 8.30, 8.30 a.m. EST. So go ahead and check that out. And I would appreciate if you guys joined in. Give me a good, uh, give me a fat like on that one too. And subscribe to the YouTube because we're doing a lot of videos over here. Uh, we do them every day. The market is open. We're doing a video. And we're doing a live stream on the weekend, Sunday night usually. And we're starting to do a couple in the week uh, around opening bell so we can really get a, a good feel on what's going on, you guys can see me execute some some of the real trades I'm doing, and uh, we can also discuss. So, like I said, we're going to be working out some details on the wheel strategy, clear up some uh, misconceptions on the wheel tonight, or sorry, tomorrow morning, and then yeah, hey, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're going to keep up to date. You're going to see my live trades, mm -hmm. and make sure, guys, you're subscribed to the site. And I will see you guys on the other side. Peace.